Let's work towards the perfect bed leveling. Right, the first thing we need is a piece of paper. I've got a receipt there, you just saw it. Um, that's not what you use. Don't use any of those uh, uh, carbon paper or whatever it is receipts. They're gonna melt on your heated bed. So the second thing is, make sure your heated bed and your uh, nozzle, everything's warmed up to the temperature that you're gonna be printing at. This is important because everything needs to be contracted and at the size that, it needs, that it's gonna be when printing. Uh, secondly, kill your stepper motors while everything else is still on. Just kill your stepper motors, so here's our receipt, get rid of that, we're not going to use that. Kill your stepper motors so you've got free access to move your bed and your uh, your, your extruder as, as you need to. So we can see under there there's absolutely no tension, I've, I've tried to blow it, I thought it would actually blow out but it didn't. There's no, there's no friction there between the piece of paper, normal A4 paper, and our, and our nozzle um, and the heat bed, there's just it's too much of a gap. So, I'm uh, moving it a bit out of frame there, unfortunately, I'm sorry about that, but what we need to do is we need to loosen off our wing nut there at the bottom, just so it's not holding the, uh, the screw and everything clamped together. Grab our screwdriver, you can use the one that comes with the, um, with the printer itself, I just use a slightly bigger, heavier duty one, because I don't like that little, little yellow one, and just ever so slightly back that screw off. Um, now, you, you, can, you can certainly have a little look-see now, but you're not going to notice a huge difference until you've done all four. So now we're going to move around and just back all four off. Now, now if you do hit one corner and it's particularly tight, for example, then you might need to you might need to tighten that one in. You might need to you might need to actually yeah thread that screw further in to to, to kind of get it all nicely even. But do it bit by bit. Um, don't try and do all big massive turns all at once because it, it just won't work. You might actually end up maybe I don't know maybe doing damage to the plate. You might you might um you might flex it if you apply too much pressure to one corner and not the others. Also be sure not to lean on the table or work surface especially if it's got a bit of flex in it. The tiniest bit of flex can really send your printer off either in the printing process or in this leveling process. I've seen lots of guys who are having what's obviously a bed leveling issue who swear black and blue they've leveled their bed, they've leveled their bed. So check that out, never lean on it. I found that the hard way, just watching a print and just watching it destroy itself. As soon as I'd leave it alone, it'd fix. Now we're back at the beginning, uh, my bed was pretty well levelled uh, when I started this whole video so I, I only really needed to go through once. Um, now there's, there's, you know, could be a little bit more of a fine adjustment, we're going to just go through. Again, once you're pretty confident that you've got it feeling good and looking good on each and every corner, every corner feels the same. See, now there's a bit of tension, it's hard to explain, it's almost like it's holding it but it can still freely move in and out if you just if you gently slide it. So it's literally the tension is purely that piece of paper there, that, that's the distance of, of, of what's there. It's not holding it, it's not pressing down on it, it's just that distance there. So again, we'll go through and we'll check all four of our corners before we, before we, we get too excited, and then we'll take a look at what, exactly how close are we talking? How close are we talking here? This is really what you wanna see. So this is, uh, a, needless to say, a very close up macro shot, um, but that's, there is a gap, there is a distance. Um, I have seen people saying, well, why can't we just have it touching? The, the distance there that we're looking at is the layer height that you've got programmed into your, into your slicer settings or your nozzle height. So you need that distance for the, for the filament to basically feed out through and, and squish onto the bed. Hope that helps, guys. Give a thumbs up if, if it does, and subscribe for some more future videos. Cheers, bye.